Tell me about how your high school had a grading system for the classes. Yeah. Yeah, so I was in a small town, and the schooling system was segregated. You had, for example, grade seven, you had seven four, and you had seven two. Seven four, the kids were throwing staplers at the teacher and rarely coming in and lighting up cigarettes in class. And seven two were the smart, often wealthy kids. What, what was it academically? Academically. I was always in four. And I liked it, because my friends were all in four. And then I had a teacher, ironically named or appropriately named Mr. Risk. Okay. And he was a science teacher. And I did really well in science and failed everything else. Like, wow, was that because you were interested? Just interested. Yeah. And it held my attention. Mm. So he then makes me sit an aptitude test. Mm. I remember, I'll never forget that day. I'm in the school parking lot with all the kids and I've got cigarettes on me, I've got a leather jacket, you know, I'm, I'm hanging out with my friends. And they call out 9-4. I don't get called. I'm thinking, okay, it's fine. I'm in 9-3. They call out 9-3, I'm not in 9-3. And now I'm thinking it's a mistake. So I'm like joking, going, okay. Then they call out 9-2 and they call my name. Mm. I remember thinking, this. I am not going in this class. No chance. So I go home to my mother. And I say, Mom, they made a mistake. I'm in this special class. It's a mistake. And my mom, who rarely went to the school, said, OK, I'll go sort this out. Mm. She goes to school, and then they pull in Mr. Risk, and they said, this kid's got ability, and we want to try him in this class. Mm. I remember two days of not talking to my mother, you know, because she gave in <laughs> to the school, you know, to the establishment. <laughs> and then something changed. A combination of insecurity, competitiveness. And I thought to myself, these kids are not better than me. They're not better than me. They're not better than me because my mom works at KFC and my dad works at Coke and their parents are doctors or lawyers. I said, they're not better than me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna study. And that was it. I went from bottom of the class to the top of the class. Thanks to some encouraging teachers and Todd's newfound love of the academic world, he applied for and won a $30,000 scholarship to attend Pearson College for his last two years of school. I came home, I told my mom, we sat on the step together, and I'd never seen a more horrified, distraught, destroyed person than my mother in that moment. Because in that moment, she knew I was gone. And I think mom would say that was one of the hardest days of her life. That was an official step into a new world. The premise of the school, it is no one can pay to go. Everyone's on scholarship, 200 students, 100 countries. You live in a room with four people, each person from a different continent. It just smashed open my world. <laughs>